In the previous video in this playlist, we looked at this computer program here. And when we look at this particular line, what will happen? We will create an instance of the string class. So we will have an execution space, and from the string class, we'll create the instance. And we'll label that instance with the label welcome. Now, this is welcome because we have got welcome here on the left hand side of the assignment statement. And this hello world is the value of the object as you can see here and of course the object will also have an id and a type now when we see this program's execution we will see this so when we come onto this line this is placed here because the value of the id can be seen here inside the object and we print the type of the object and we can see this gets printed here and then we print the actual um, value of the object by print welcome so this appears here let's have a look at the program we've just been discussing again you can see it here and I'm going to show you a slightly different program as you can see here now if you have a look carefully you will see that the only difference is on the first line this line here is welcome is assigned hello world but you can see that the hello world is in the double quotes whereas on this line you can see that the hello world is in single quotes now both of these lines produce the same kind of object and then we can print the id the type and the welcome value so there we can see two different ways to produce an object of the string class we can do it in another way as well as shown here the difference now is i'm using this function here and in the brackets you can see i've got hello world so this line will produce an object in the same way as this program did and in fact this program there's another way in which we can do it as shown here welcome is assigned string and you can see in the brackets i've got the string hello world and you can see it has the single quotes so there are four different ways to create an instance of the string class these four program statements here being those four different ways in the previous video we also looked at the forward and backward indexing of a string and we introduced this diagram to show us the value field of the object now if we have a look at a computer program that we also looked at in the previous playlist this one here and looked at its runtime what we can see is that when this line executed we created this as the value of the object that was labeled welcome and when we come onto this line print welcome all of this string gets printed here now this line is saying print welcome and in the square brackets you can see there's five now that relates to this label which is pointing to here now you can see in there there is no character or there appears to be no character in fact what is in there is what you get when you press the spacebar on the keyboard you get an ANSI code of 32 generated and what the program output is is as shown here and in that area that I'm showing there is in fact an ANSI code being sent of 32 and of course because it's not got a visual presence we can't see anything there so then when we come on to do this one print welcome and then brackets you can see it's minus six this is the backward indexing and of course the welcome minus six is this label which points to the same position so we get the space placed here and i want to stress that it is a character a space it's just that we don't see that character and in fact if you want a good demonstration of where the character is look it's here because when i type this program in I typed a space to give me that gap so it is a character it is an ANSI value now as an aside in other programming languages you have types called characters in Python there is no character type you have a string of length one let's now have a look at this computer program here this first line is welcome is assigned and you can see that in the brackets here there is nothing now what that's going to do it's going to create an instance of the string class i.e an object string an object of type string that is empty meaning its value field will have nothing in it there's no characters in it so far we've put things in there like hello world but in this particular case there's nothing in those brackets so 
we have an empty string. Consequently, when we see the runtime for this, this is what we will get. This line outputs the ID of the object, this line outputs the type of the object, and this line outputs, well, nothing. There's nothing to output. The string is empty. So we get this base here. Now, what I would like to stress, however, this is not the same as what we've just been looking at when we output what the user typed in the program, i.e. the spacebar. This is not the same as outputting the ANSI character 32. There is nothing to output. So why do we get this gap here? Because there's nothing in the string to output. And these chevrons appear on this line because the print statement gives a line feed carriage return. So it goes to the line B low. But this isn't the same as outputting a space between characters. There is nothing in it to output. And in fact, an empty string in Python has a length of zero. So this program has shown us how to create an empty string. We can create empty strings in other ways as well. Let's have a look at this example. Here you can see welcome has been assigned and there is double quotes. And there is nothing between those double quotes, no typing of anything. In other words, it's the double quote immediately followed by the double quote. Another way to create an empty string is shown here, where we have welcome is assigned, a single quote, and another single quote typed immediately after. In other words, there's nothing between these two quotes. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.